Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to recreate the look of Fallon Carrington, as you saw in the title. So for those who don't know who is Fallon, uh, where have you been? She's the main character in the series uh, Dynasty on Netflix. So it's a series about a rich family who lives in Atlanta and basically they have rivals and there is conflicts in between them in the family and there's a lot of things happening. When I started to watch this series, uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because usually it's not really my kind of series. I like to watch medieval series like Game of Thrones, Vikings, uh, The Last Kingdom, uh, Outlander, etc. So nothing to do with. This is more like a uh, desperate housewives kind of series. But you just need to watch a few episodes and then you become completely obsessed with the series. And especially with the character of Fallon Carrington, it's so funny. She's a businesswoman. She likes the power. She likes to control and lead everyone and everything. She's always wearing designer outfits. I love it. So yeah. So today we are going to recreate um, Fallon Carrington. So we are going to start with the skin. So Fallon always have a very white skin. Uh, matte unified so for this I'm gonna use my foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm gonna take my beauty blender So Fallon always has a perfect skin tone with no imperfection, nothing, very white. I'm gonna add a bit more. Then I'm gonna take my concealer from my Berlin. I'm gonna come to correct my dark spot. And I'm gonna blend it with my beauty blender. Then I'm going to fix it with my Laura Mercier powder. I love this powder since I bought it. I really see the difference with any other that I had. It's really going to come and fix and smooth the skin and add a little bit of color as well. It's nothing to do with any powder that I've tried. So now I understand why everyone's talking about this powder. And to fix the rest of my foundation, I'm gonna use my MAC powder. And with a large brush, I'm just gonna come and fix everything. Then for the bronzer, she doesn't apply much bronzer but she does have a little bit here uh, but it's very light very subtle i'm gonna take my morphe uh, my morphe contouring uh, palette and i think with a brush like that i'm gonna do a mix of this one because it has to be very subtle very light she doesn't have any marks that I'm going to do, do the same here and I'm going to do a little bit here but very lightly and her face is really defined here so I'm going to add some here too A little bit 
on my nose. All right, so that's it. And now for the blush, uh, same, she doesn't put a lot of blush, so it's very natural. So I've got two blush here. So I'm thinking for the blush, probably one of these two. Um, I'm probably gonna start with this one and I'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think that's enough. She put a little bit of highlighter, so for the highlighter, I'm gonna take the Morphe palette again, and I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna take this one here. So I think we are done with the skin. So now we are going to do the eyebrows. For the eyebrows, she's got really sharp eyebrows, really precise, and especially on the top that looks like that. So it's not really the same shape that I have now. So we're going to try to do the same, the most likely as possible. I'm gonna to start to brush my eyebrows uh, towards the top. I'm gonna take my brow blade from your band decay. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna first draw the shape at the bottom. I'm gonna come at the top and draw a line. So I think I'm pretty good. Um, a little bit more. I think I'm pretty good. I'm gonna come and uh, um, blend it, blend it. There we are. And I'm gonna use the other side of the bro blade to do the front. Okay, there we are. Now I'm gonna use my Morphe gel uh, to come and fix it. So that's what we have. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. There we are. So I'm done with the eyebrows. I think mine are a little bit thicker, but I can't do that fine because my eyebrows are more thick anyway. So, I think that's pretty similar so now we're gonna go to the eyes so what she does usually um, she put a bit of brown eyeshadows uh, in the crease and then she do a huge eyeliner black so we're gonna try to do that so first I'm gonna apply my primer from P. Louise on my uh, eyelids she doesn't put much on her eyes so Then I'm gonna take a nude white eyeshadow that I'm gonna come to fix uh, the primer. So I'm gonna take this one from the Huda Beauty palette. It's not much left. So I'm gonna apply it where, where I apply the primer.
there we are so now i'm gonna take the new norvina palette i'm gonna use this eyeshadow that i'm gonna apply in the crease There we are, so then I'm gonna add a dark brown in the crease to intensify a bit more and I think that's all she does. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm just putting it in the crease only. There we are. Then her eyelid stays white. So I'm gonna take again um, the nude that I used to unify after the primer. So this one, and I'm gonna put it on the eyelid. So there we are, and sometimes she has a bit of gold glitters here very subtle you can barely see it so i'm gonna take this eyeshadow here then i'm gonna add on the top of the white but not much there we are so that's where we are now so now we're gonna pass to the most important part the famous eyeliner so she does a big black eyeliner here and then a little tile here going up so I'm going to try to do that. I'm not very good at applying eyeliner, but we're going to try. So I'm going to use my eyeliner from Maybelline. So when I apply my eyeliner, I always pull my eye like that. I feel like it's helping me. I don't know if it's helping at all, but <laughs> I think it's just mental. So let's try. So I'm going to start from here. So I'm not gonna talk when I put the eyeliner because I already suck at it, so <laughs> it's better if I don't talk. So I've already done something here, so I'm gonna take again my eyeshadow just to make it disappear. People who apply eyeliner every day, I like, really like, please give me your talent. Help me. There we are. So the eyeliner is approximately okay on this eye. So let's do the other one. Good luck to me. There we are, finally applied the liner three hours later. So it doesn't look perfect, but that's the maximum I can do with my skills. So now we are going to add a little bit of black underneath to link because I feel like uh, she put a little bit of black. So any black will do. I'm gonna use a brush like that and I'm gonna take the black from uh, this palette but any black is fine just a little bit and just to link to the eyeliner and I'm gonna do the same on the other side then she's got very long lashes I think she applies some false eyelashes but I don't have false eyelashes today so I'm just gonna apply a lot of mascara and I'm gonna curl my lashes I'm gonna use my mascara from Benefit. And a little bit underneath. There we are. Now for the lips, uh, she always apply a red lipstick or something a bit nude. So, Today I'm going to apply something nude 
I'm gonna use a pencil from NYX And in the middle, I'm going to apply a gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. There we are, this is done for the makeup. Now I'm going to change my outfit and I'll be right back. There we are for the outfit. That's better. Now I'm going to do my hair. So she's got her hair separate in the middle. So we're going to do the same. And most of the time she leave it uh, either like that with some curls or she take two strands of hair one on each side and she tie them up in the back so that's what we're gonna do now she always leave two little um, strands like that so my hair are a bit too long compared to hers but so that's what she does and maybe she leave a little bit more hair here she does something like that So now I'm going to try to do some curls because she's got curly hair. So there we are for the final look, Fallon Carrington. So I've tried my maximum to do some curl, but my, my hair never curl. So so let me know what you guys think. Let me know also if you watch the series, what season are you up to? I'm currently watching the season three. I'm halfway through, so don't spoil me any bit. And if you liked this video and this look, don't forget to give me a thumbs up underneath this video and to subscribe to the channel and to leave me a comment. That would be awesome. And otherwise, I will pop my last video here so you can go have a look. And if you want to subscribe, it's just here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Screw you! I'm not going anywhere. I need to talk to you about the C-R-A-Z. Why does the crazy lady have a gun? She's not crazy. It's Miss Carrington. <laughs> <sighs> Fallon Carrington.